Already they are heckling on Ooh, I like it. She is the host of T Top 20 Countdown on Great American Country and Nashville Today on WSN. Four years ago, she started her adventure, One Pan Nan. Please welcome to our kitchen, Nan Kelly. Oh. Hey. I love this name. I got my pan in my purse. What you do got you need? have pan, will travel. <laughs> what do you need, girl? That's all I got. One pan, will travel. I love this idea. Thank How you. How did you start your website, One Pan Nan? Well, okay, I'm a southern girl and I married a man from the north. Uh oh. And I could, Stop right there, Nan. I could not cook when I married this man. And what I did know how to cook were the southern casseroles that I grew up eating in South Mississippi. So I would feed him my little square of what I thought was perfect heaven. Little casserole. Why not? Of course it was. And he would go, what is this? What are you trying to do? Cook everything in one pan, Nan? Oh. And it's stuck. Oh. And it's a mission. I mean, think about it, you all. The time around the family table is getting smaller and smaller. And That's moms true. and busy dads and families, I want, my mission is I want people to have more time around the table with their families and less time over the sink with the dirty dishes. Okay. Amen. Amen. One pan. Oh, and by the way, He's become a one nan man. I would just right. like to point out and with your one today. pan nan. Can you? Can, can we? If we work hard, can we get down to, that down to no pan? <laughs> if we all work together, no pan nan. If uh, if you would share those uh, wonderful little nuggets, we don't even need a pan. Yeah, <laughs> yeah I've got got it. It. But you've nuggets. taken all these amazing recipes. You've actually compiled tons of different recipes. Oh, you guys, you know what? Bring in the one pan oh, nan food. Bring them oh, in. Oh, oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, wow. Thank you, Shanti. This is Ooh. good. Thank see, now you see Shanti in action, ladies and gentlemen. There she is, our executive oh, chef, Shanti. So oh, look at her running away. Is it a good. fork or a spoon? It's a fork. It's a fork. It's a fork. Okay. It's, 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 a fork. It's, it's heavy calories now. Okay. So, okay. You know. Don't worry. Oh, Just you know, one, that, one like, meal a day is fine. So you've taken all taken all these one pan recipes and you've compiled them in this beautiful Thank book you. that you wrote. Thank I you love it. We're going to go through here. Show me some of these recipes. Well, this is a collection of my family, my neighbors, me, and my mom. That is a fresh tomato and basil pie. Fresh tomatoes, wow. basil, mozzarella, all just natural goodness. Yummy. That's my sweet nanny's sour cream pound cake. What? Nanny Broom from down in Summerall, Mississippi. Oh, nanny, Old family love recipe. You. Love it. Dense and thick and full Does of great every love. every single one of your recipes have like a story behind it? Absolutely. No, that really one, does, huh? What you're eating, those wonderful men from Fire Hall 29 down in Nashville, Tennessee, uh, created chicken casserole, Captain David Tomlinson. Mm. You know, firefighters work 24 hours on. They yeah. Live, mm -hmm. eat, sleep right there in the fire hall. Mm -hmm. So cooking for a variety of palates, yeah. you know, a lot of people is a skill that firefighters have down pat. Yes, working. they do. They become They're really good working. cooks. They have no downtime at all. This is Captain David Tomlinson's mama's recipe. Oh, wow. And they tagged him to cook that night. He had just gotten on the fire hall and he called his mom and said, what am I cooking? She gave him this recipe over the phone. And so he cooks it for all the boys over there? He cooks it for fire hall 29. Down well, you know what, Juana, you cook it for us. All right, you got it. And we'll see how it goes. We'll see how we do. Okay, first we're going to start with cooked chicken oh, breast. Oh, Nan, I think there's a fire. I think there's a fire, Nan. Oh, I hope oh wait a oh, minute. Tracy. And guess who's here, engineer? Tracy Townsend's here to rescue oh, us. Nashville. Hi, Tracy. Welcome. Hi, Tracy. Oh, what a surprise. <clears throat> Mm, Y'all sure are pretty over there. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, yeah, Tracy, we are going to have you here because this is obviously a recipe from your firehouse. We want to make sure that Nan is doing this right, okay? Oh my gosh! Okay. Mike, this is this is my little captain's uh, mom's recipe, and it's one of our favorites. So you know what goes in it, and you know how good it tastes, right? I sure know what to do with it when it's on the table in front of me. <laughs> <laughs> yes, All right, we're going to make it, and you can coach us along in case we're doing anything wrong. You ready? Mm. Put it on the table for me. All right, get your, your fire hose ready. <laughs> get, go. Well, we've got chicken breasts, and you're going to shred them really, really well. And everybody here at Home and Family, they've already done that. Your Master Chef is fabulous. So we're going to take uh, some cream of chicken soup. Oh, already, you're speaking my language. Uh huh. So yeah, this is kind of the gravy for the casserole. It kind of holds it all together. Then we're going to take a little cream of mushroom soup. Mm. Put that in there as well. You know, one pan meals just make life a lot easier because 
You don't have to wash but one pan. Yeah. Isn't that right? You got one thing. A little sour cream right. on the end. I didn't I say it was going to be low fat, did I? <laughs> no, that's all right. You guys liking it down there? It'll take Good. it through the winter. And then the Tracy, okay, then I'm going to put in, add, I added this, Tracy. This is kind of my proprietary blend of salt and pepper and some herbs. It's mm -hmm. called One Pan, One Spice. We're just kind of spicing this up. Is that okay for you, Tracy? Absolutely. All Go right. Mm. And then this is tr Tracy. What do you call this melted butter, Tracy? This is this is goodness. Goodness, <laughs> is goodness. Is that the secret sauce? <laughs> There's some of it. <laughs> it makes you hurt. Oh, so we're gonna Where's start. Them, uh, where's them Ritz crackers at, girl? Oh yeah, we got oh. the Ritz crackers. <laughs> oh, then that's why we needed you here. Totally. Right? Okay. See? So let's uh, move it along. Uh, so I'm we're just gonna. The receiver. We're just gonna All crumble right. this Thomas up. Thomas's recipe. All right, you're gonna yeah. crumble up first layer. There it is. There we oh, go. You crumble it while it's still in the bag. Yes, it's the easiest way to crumble. Otherwise, they're going to okay. get everywhere. Oh. So we're going to move this along. So, Tracy, we're just going to stir this, this up. Yeah, this Gosh, it's so easy. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. And you like the crackers better than, like, breadcrumbs? Those butter? Oh, yeah, because it hits <laughs> oh. that butter, and they kind of crisp up. Everything is yeah, so good. Yeah, and Ritz has extra butter already. Uh, and they're a little salty. You know, when I went down to the fire hall to be with these guys, we shot a, a video, and they we shot this, and we showed them how to do it. And it, it was such a treat because... Our, our mission at One Pan Nan, the video aspect, is to highlight people around this country who may not get a lot of credit. Aww, and firefighters work so sweet. hard. We want to shine yes, the light. You do. And everybody's got to eat. <laughs> we love our firefighters. Sprinkle that in. We're going to put this in the oven and look. Here Tracy, we go. big reveal. Has Nan come out to make this for you? Uh, ah, yeah. yes. there we go. Hold on. Sorry, say that again. Has she come out to make this for you? Well, she actually came out after the uh, shooting a little while back when she came out with her book, and uh, we all got her book, and we all got her to sign it, and uh, oh. it was a treat. So we've used some of the recipes real, real handy. Thank you, Tracy, and all the friends down at Fire Hall 29, give those fellas and ladies my love. God bless yeah. you for your service. I will. Thank you, folks, and y'all have a big old meal all night. What would you say? What would you say, Tracy? Y'all can't understand my southern draw. Can you? <laughs> no, that's not true. It's just everyone's so loud here. It has nothing to do with your southern draw. Okay, I'm going to taste this. I'm going to let you know how good this is right now. Go for oh, it, girl. It's delicious. Good, huh?